Hey guys, welcome to the first lesson of 30 days of Laravel. Today we are going to talk about route model binding. And this is something really cool that I use all of the time. You guys might use it as well. And I already have a simple application here where you can add posts. So example post, some content, and it just shows you the post and you can click it. And we have this controller here and you can see that Actually, let me open up the roots file and you can see that we have all of our routes here. So we have a route for showing all of the posts. We have a route for creating a post. We have a route for storing a post and we have a route to show a specific post. So you see this part right here where we find the post like this using find or fail. Route model binding allows us to get rid of this. Instead, we can just type hint the model right here and Laravel will get us the model. So let me show you guys. I'm just going to pass in the class that we want here, which is post, and I'm going to dump and die this, and it's not going to work. Let me show you guys. I'm going to click here, and we got a post, but you can see that it doesn't have any data. It's just a fresh instance of post. We want to get the post with ID 1. And the way we can do this is by simply changing this to post. And I'm going to explain it to you guys. So you can see that now we have a post and we can actually get rid of this. And it works. And the way it works is, you see that we have a parameter right here. It's called post, right? And we are type hinting post. And we are also passing a post variable. When we do this, Laravel automatically uh, understands that we are looking for a post because the name of the variable is the same as the variable on the route. If we were to change this and instead call it article, it won't work. You can see that we don't have any posts here. But if we change this to article and we dump and die it, you guys can see that it works again. So this is called implicit model binding. So we just need to have the same name on the route and on the controller so let's do it and you can see that um we are using the id right here right so if i were to create a new with a you know a text here so let's say uh title and in real life you would use this slug but you can also change it so we are using the id one of the ways that you can change it is by going into the route and putting this and typing the 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 column that you want to check. So we want to check title, right? So if I click here, it's not going to work. But if I type in title, which is the name of the last article, the last post, it works. So we can we can change this. We can explicit say to Laravel that it should look for the title column. But we can also do this implicitly. So if you want to use a different column for your methods, for, for your, your resources, you can go into the model and you can write this method, get route key name. And you're just typing the column that you want to check. So whenever you want to do implicit model binding, but you don't want to use the ID, you can overwrite it here. So if I were to type in title, um, and I were to go into this route, it's not going to work. But if I type in title, it works. And we are not explicitly saying it right here. Now, you can also explicitly tell Laravel uh, for which model to use. For instance, let's change this to article, right? And let's get rid of this and just type in article right here. And we can jump and die it. So um, if I go and type in one, which is ID one, we just get one. So we are just getting the parameter through the route. If we were to, to inject the model here, sure, it's going to work. Well, let's say we don't want to do this. We just want to use another variable or something. We can go into one of our service providers, which is located under app providers. I'm going to go into the app service provider. I'm going to go into the boot method and I'm going to say route and I'm going to import this. This is the route facade and I'm going to say model. And if we take a look here, we pass a key and a class. So I'm going to say article. I want it to return a post instance, right? like this. And if I were to jump and die this again, you can see that it works. And if I remove this, it doesn't. If I put it back, it does. 
this is very useful when you're not working with models. Sometimes you, you are working with uh, another thing inside your application and you still want to use route model binding. So in this case, it is very useful. And if I were to, I'm just going to assign post to article so we don't have to change the template and you can see it works. Now, if I want to go back to implicit model binding, I'm going to type in post, post like this and we can get rid of this. And here we can change it back to post and it works. So this is how you do implicit and explicit model binding.